All right, kind of an evening, uh, what do you want to call it, a devotional? Bible study, that just sounds so old-fashioned to say Bible study. Let's just talk about a, the, um, you know, I found this, and this is, I think this is just one of those, you know, Philippians is one of the most, probably the most quoted, um, you know, probably quoted uh, books in the Bible, you know. Um, you know, in fact, if you were to get 10 people together and, and you know, ask them their favorite uh, passage or scripture, you're going to probably get seven of them are going to talk about Philippians, but this is a really, really, really good thing to to kind of keep in mind, and it's something that's hard to do. And it simply says, uh, to co- forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Forgetting what lies behind, letting go, you know. And and I think the um, the the spiritual journey has a lot of letting go, uh, and even forgetting. In fact, even in the Old Testament. You know, people didn't keep their last names. I mean, God changed changed uh, Abra, Abraham to Abraham, and so many times uh, Paul to Saul. You know, and there's an evolution, and there's a growth. And a lot of times, we think a, we, when we think of spirituality, we think of religion, we think of some old, archaic, um, dead, lifeless, non-evolving thing. But when you really look at spirituality, and you look at life, and you see the the interplay between. Uh, uh, life, or you know, go look at a tree, and and you know, look at how. Anyway, I can just go on and on and on about the um, the uh, the the equivalence of and how nature uh, speaks to the spiritual journey. But one thing that's clear is evolution, evolving, and this is one thing. One way to do that is forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Um, you know, and I've already said letting go, letting go, and learning how to let go. Uh, and that's a that's not something we learn on Tuesday and we have it 100% by Wednesday. Le- letting go uh, is, is something that's hard. It's slow. It's uh, it, it takes a lot of discipline, and it's um, you know sometimes it's not pleasant. You know, in fact, uh, kind of a quick story. One of my very first bosses out of college, or excuse me, yeah, right after I graduated from college, one of my fr- very first bosses. Um, you know, he uh, he still wore his high school number. He was in his 30s, and he still wore his high school number, and. Uh, you know that's part of the you know West Texas. It's just part of the it's it, it's a part of the country that just doesn't like to evolve. Uh, you know, and and it's very common out there in West Texas to 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 meet a guy in his 30s and 40s, and he really he's still rocking his high school friends. He's still rocking his high school number. Um, so let me ask you a question. You know, how are you evolving, and what do you want to let go? And and you know, again, this is strong language. Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. You know, there's there's several ways that I'm practically doing that. Number one is, um, you know, I'm kind of at a transition in my life where I really know that God is is moving me forward. You know, and He's He's moving us all forward. But sometimes, you know, if you look at your own spiritual journey, you can see that there were seasons where God was accelerating that, uh, and then there was also seasons where He's like, chill out and just hang out and chill. And then there's seasons of growth. You know, and uh, one thing that God is really putting on my heart is really to be careful about investing in older relationships or relationships that are that are done and over, um, and to to invest less in those. It doesn't mean I don't, I don't care about these people. It just means I'm investing less and less and less. In fact, a couple friends I've befriended when conflict arose, I made peace with them, but I just kind of exited the relationship, you know, learning how to let go. Henry Cloud has a book called, Unnes- or he calls it Necessary Endings. Anyway, evolving, ending. You know, you, you have to have a space for the new. Uh, so in order to do that, you often have to let go of the old. All right, you guys have a great day. I hope this helped. Email me, Americana417 at gmail.com. I hope this channel is bringing you um, good things. Let me know how it's helping you or questions you have. I would love to answer questions. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a Jesus, and so a lot of my uh, my spiritual practice is is really based in the Bible. Uh, even though there's a lot of other things that you know that I connect with God. But anyway, email me americana417 at gmail dot com. Hope you guys have a great day. Love to hear your questions. Love to hear from you. We're we're growing. I think I'm up to like I don't know how many followers. So this is good. So hope I'm uh, uh, giving you some good some good content. Anyway, email me americana417 at gmail dot com.